Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. We are now in the Ocean Palace. And oh man, I forgot how uh, weird this place is. It's pretty big and it's kind of hard to find your way around. So what I'm going to do actually, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to bring... You're probably going to want to have at least one... Wait a minute, not two water elementals. You're going to want to have a water and a fire with you, and a lightning, which is automatically going to be Chrono. And whoa! We have our first battle in the Ocean Palace. One of them's called Jin, and the other one's called Barghest. You're going to want to attack the Barghest first, I believe. Because basically what you got here is one monster who's protecting the other one, and if you attack the wrong one first, it kind of sort of... Yeah. Yeah, Barghest was protecting Jin with a shield, so you have to defeat Barghest to remove the shield. Otherwise, you're just going to spend all day hitting Jin for 15 damage or something. And you don't want that to happen. Lapis. Dual tech red pin. Oh, sweet. That's kind of like, um, fire sword. Which I haven't even shown you fire sword yet, have I? Well, we may be getting, we may get to do that in this video here. I don't know. Okay, so you're, these guys that I was talking about in Super Metroid. Well, there's a little X-Strike effect there. Well, here they are in this game, too. Well, that was stupid, right? Okay, Frog has water, too, so we're probably gonna try that. I can't remember if you actually are supposed to attack them with what their color is, or the opposite of what their color is. I think it's the opposite, but I'm not totally sure. I mean, I see that he's red, so I figure he's probably a fire elemental, which would make him weak to water, but... Let me see. Nope. Nope, it's totally the opposite. Okay. Luca doesn't know Fire 2 yet, so... We're just gonna have to do this the cheap way, but we're really kind of sort of slacking here. I need to pick up the pace here. I don't know who it is that's doing that huge attack. Somebody's kicking our ass here. It's almost like I don't even see what's happening right in front of my face. Okay. Just take... well, no. Well, normally when I play this game, what I like to do is take Chrono and Isla and just use Falcon Hit. Because most of the time when you fight these guys, they'll be going in a straight line across, and you can easily hit them. Sometimes it might take two turns of it, but it's still easier, you know, to do that if you're lazy like me and you just like to do the same thing over and over again or something like that. We got a treasure here. It's an Aeon Helm, which I do believe would be good for... Wow! Even the, even the Aeon Helm is not as good as the Rainbow Helm. Holy cow. Oh well, let's go ahead and heal. Well, let's do it this way. Just for now, until I can... That's good. Alright, so what this this place is, like, really huge. It's kind of a giant... It's sort of like an octagon, but it doesn't have the bottom and the top on it. If that makes any sense. Aeon suit, let me see. I don't know if that would be good for anybody either, because... Yeah, it's higher defense, but it lacks the absorption power, so... I'm not sure. So here's the lightning ones. You'll want to get your best lightning attacks out. Lightning 2, probably, in this case. And just go for it. I'll tell you what, man, I've got an itching to play some Banjo-Kazooie right now. Not to LP it, but just to play it. Because I'm definitely going to have to play through it at least once. Before I LP it. Um, and, of course, there's Ocarina of Time will be my first N64 LP when I get around to it. But... You know, I probably should have, uh, let Chrono do the lightning and just, you know, whatever. Yeah, like I said, it's kind of hard to find your way around this place. And it's... You know, I mean, when you look at a map of it, it doesn't seem that huge, but when you're actually playing the game and you're on screen, it's it seems bigger than Shakira's titties in that torture video. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I want to look that up on YouTube. I haven't seen that in a while. First time I saw it, I laughed my ass off, though. I just thought it was so funny. I don't know why it's funny, but it is. <laughs> because it's like, dude, I mean, come on. Nobody's titties actually move that far when they swing them around. Not that I would know or anything, but uh, okay. So let's try the lower left corner. Oops. Wait a minute. Hey, you can actually avoid these. Cool. All right, we got a shockwave. Isn't that a weapon for Luca? Yes, it is. Random Chaos. That is nice. Oh, that is very nice. Chaos is the, um, this game's equivalent of the Confuse status. 
which means Luca will now randomly inflict Confuse on enemies. And you can sneak down here and get this one as a demon hit. Isn't that a sword for Chrono? No, his is a demon edge. Who? Oh, Frog? Wow. Two times hit for magic enemies. I guess that's pretty good. Wow, we're picking up some sweet stuff in here. Some nice loot. Looks like you can get up there, but you can't, actually, so we gotta go back around. We gotta backtrack. Fortunately, it's not a huge deal. Basically, you're looking at, like, three rooms on the left and three rooms on the right. Um, one in the middle, one at the top, and one at the bottom. And likewise, on the right side. I don't think I ever got to the bottom right room on the right side. Oh, hello. Okay, so these would be the water ones. Fortunately, Frog has water, too, so we'll take him out that way. Take out these mages, too, boy, I tell you. It's redonkulous. Look at that 400 damage. Baby. I never considered Frog to be one of the stronger wizards in the game, but the way he's going through my... or the way it's... the way this playthrough is going, he's turning out pretty good. Speaking of which, I don't think I ever used those tabs, did I? Star Sword? That's probably Chronos. Yes, it is. Let me see. What do we got? Man, look at this! Oh, man! <laughs> okay, let's give one to Chrono. Let's give a magic tab to Luca. Let's give a speed tab to Luca, and we'll just do that for now. I know I'm being stupid, I should use these things now while I got them, but... Uh, yeah, sometimes these side rooms like this connect to each other, but it's hard to remember. Oh yeah, we're picking up some experience, boy, let me tell you. So, let's... I don't think I explored that right side fully, but I don't even know if I needed to. There's probably nothing huge over here, but... I suppose it's worth a look. Oh wait, we didn't, because it goes down here just like the left side does. We got a Kaiser arm, that's for Robo. Obviously. And we can't get up here either. Darn it. What we're trying to do is get to the bottom center. Because we came in through the top. We've gone all up and down the sides. Let me just... Oh. Now they're going to start mixing it up, putting red ones and blue ones together. So you're going to have to adjust your attack patterns accordingly. As in probably use single targeting spells. Just to take them out one at a time. This is where I like to use Falcon Hit, you know, because it's just a lot more time-saving, and generally it does about enough damage to kill him, even though they're not weak against it because it's a physical attack. But I, I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it used to take him out in one hit when I did it that way. That was such a long time ago, though. So Chrono and Luca leveled up, and we got two more. I, I was just pontificating on the fact that this may be the only Chrono Trigger episode you ever see in which Luca hits Jin. Yeah. Okay, so are we just... Yeah, we're just repeating these battles over and over again here, but yeah. Yeah, so even though this area is kind of a pain in the ass, it is a good example of how Chrono Trigger proves itself to be a formidable challenge in spite of... You mean I could have gone that way the whole time? No, I couldn't have, could I? What was I thinking? Well, yeah, Chrono Trigger proves itself to be a challenge in that it forces you to use, you know, each character's specific ability for, you know, rather than having all characters be customizable to the point that they all become gods and you just use anyone you want or whoever's the cutest or any of that crap. You actually have to utilize your character's elements and all. Okay, that switch I hit earlier opened this door that I just walked through, so that's all. Now you got two ways to go here. Two ways to go, I should say. Oh no, it's Casey Jones. I hate these guys. I guess I have to show this, but um... Yeah, I'm gonna have Chrono take out Casey Jones and I'm gonna have... Um... Luke and Frog do their thing with the guys up there. Shoot, I'm over 11 minutes. I know there's gotta be at least one battle I'm taking out of this. Well, there's actually two or three, aren't there? So yeah, we can go up to like 13 or so. Yeah, what these guys do, it's not so bad when there's only one of them, but when you have multiple ones, they'll often counterattack with a dual tech. Like, seriously, they will counterattack with a dual tech between two of the monsters. And since there's the same monster, it doesn't take really complicated programming to do it. See, you can see a tab over there. Well, we won't be able to get that just yet, so... I'll have to bring the elevator down to pick it up. And then we'll have to go all the way back around. Now, you can actually walk around the statues to avoid it. No, I guess you can't. Okay, silly me. Um, lightning two. 
Water 2. Wow, well, let's show off some dual techs here. Wait a minute. Did somebody just die? Oh, maybe that was between him and Chrono. I don't know. I thought that was Luca and Frog that did that. Oh, maybe somebody got silenced and they can't use their text. Yeah, Luca got silenced. Damn. Those idiots. How could they do that? Spire? I don't think we've seen that, have we? Is Frog on his own? Oh, Frog must still have that counter-attack equipped. That's helping tremendously in here. Basically, it's like Volt Bite, but with a sword. And ouch! Yeah, it definitely hurts. Well, let's do something here. Oh, she inflicted chaos on that guy. I should have left him alive. I wasn't even thinking about that. So if you were actually paying attention, you know, if I had been at that point, I would have had him attack the other guy. And then quite possibly he would have killed himself on the next turn. But either way, we won. So in the next episode, we're going to go down the stairs and face more uh, Casey Jones clones. So, see you later.